Today I wanted to talk about Pokemon specialty sets. Specialty sets, if you guys aren't familiar, are those that don't have booster boxes. They usually just have booster bundles and elite trainer boxes and like other boxes, right? They're not like main sets. And the next one, the next set that we're supposed to get is a specialty set, Shrouded Fable. It comes out at the beginning of next month in August. But I just wanted to take a look at some of the more recent specialty sets. And obviously you guys can see right here, we got Paldean Fates, and I just wanted to touch on a few products. This set kind of really surprised me, I'm going to be honest. And we're going to talk about another specialty set, and in the, one, in the last video I talked about 151, so that's what kind of got me thinking more about specialty sets. So this is probably the biggest surprise specialty set from Scarlet and Violet era so far to me. That's just my opinion, because 151 obviously is the king of the specialty set so far uh, from this era. But I just wanted to touch on, like, some people, there's also a debate, like, you shouldn't collect specialty sets sealed. Um, and I don't usually as a rule, but I do kind of like the booster bundles. I do think that they are uh, a little bit undervalued now. I think that long term these booster bundles are going to do really well because a lot of people just go elite trainer boxes and I actually really like the booster bundles. So uh, right now, Paldean Fates booster bundles are, are up to, you know, 33 bucks with one selling at 40, which is crazy. Uh, it doesn't look like this is going to move up too much more at 35, but uh, that is, you know, we're getting we're above MSRP here. You can pick these up cheaper uh, if you can find them out in the wild. So, you know, Paldean Fates is, is doing well. For, especially for a specialty set, we'll look at the we'll look at the elite trainer boxes while we're here as well. Uh, as you guys can see, you know this in April we could have got this for thirty five bucks. It hit all the way up to forty one. I mean, it hasn't really dipped very much. It's still at forty one dollars. You got sales over here at forty three. The average price is at fifty. So these elite trainer boxes are on their way up. So uh, a lot of people are are liking these these cards, liking this set. Uh, then on the other hand, though. You have the, this is the Pokemon Center exclusive Elite Trainer Box, and this is on the downward tick. You guys can see a 77 all the way down to 70. Uh, personally, I don't touch these at all, really. I don't really deal with the Pokemon Center. If I want the promo card, the stamped promo, to like do a master set or whatever, I'll just buy it. Like, I don't need to get these, um, personally. If you guys enjoy them, collect them, open them, you know, I, I don't judge anybody for doing that, but just my opinion. The, that's the only thing it offers is the stamp promo, and I'll just buy it for a lot cheaper than the box. So, um, but that, that's you know that can be said for a lot of promos. So, but here's the uh, the set list here uh, on TCG Player, and obviously the Charizard is still the top dog here, and you got the Mew, and we're gonna take a look at a few of these. But just you know what I want, what I like to see here, and I think is really cool is you got some of these uh, baby shinies that are still up there in price and they're above some of these other cards which i find very interesting i like seeing the pikachu up here at 35 the charmander at 21 and the, even the charmeleon at uh just under 20 bucks and snorlax getting some love at 15 bucks for the baby shiny snorlax like i love snorlax that's awesome to see uh so you know not the most like crazy set but there's just a lot of cards that we'll get here down on page two and we'll take a deeper dive on some of these we'll pull up the charts but you know, page two, you know, we got some of these green gold cards, lots of these baby cards, these baby shinies that are at like five bucks, five bucks, five bucks, like just a ton of them. There's so many. It's such a fun set because there's so many to collect. So um, I just like seeing that from a specialty set. I think it's cool. So next up, this is what I think is interesting. And uh, some people didn't like this artwork. I love, I pretty much like most of the Charizards, but I think that this artwork is really great. And as you can see for the three month, we're at a three month high right now at 120 bucks it, with all these, all these alt arts and a lot of stuff declining right now. Uh, I do like to touch on cards that are on the uptick. So uh, it's cool to see that this card is getting a little bit of a love. It did, it did dip down props to you. If you got it at the three month low of 102 and we're up to 120. So that's some, that's a pretty decent gain for you already. Uh, if you pull up the bigger chart, on the six month, you know, it came out of the gate at 184, and you see this big dip. It never really went below 100. The market was like, this is at least a hundred dollar card, and you look at it, it obviously is. Um, I've tried to pull this card. I've opened some uh, Paldean Fates uh, booster bundles, a few of them now. Uh, it's mainly I haven't done any TB, just booster bundles. Uh, every once in a while, I pick some up, trying to pull this or the Gardevoir. 
um, personally are my chase cards from the set. But no luck yet. I still don't own this card. It is on my list, and unfortunately, it is on the rise. So props to you guys. Whoever has this card, let me know in the comments below if you have this card. Speaking of another card, kind of uh, charts looking a little different, but you still got a three month high right here at 90 bucks. It's you know technically down just a few cents. Uh, but the average price you know is at 99. The Bubble Mew, super adorable. You got the Pokemon in the background. Like like the artwork, love the card. Uh, same thing. It's nice to see, although not a, as big of an uptick, but we're seeing a little bit of an uptick on a on a nice card. If you pull out, same thing. Six month chart. You know this is what we expect most of these cards to do when they come out of the gate 130 and they you know it went down all the way to 75 this is what we expected the greninja to do which is mind-blowing anyways i keep bringing it up but um yeah so um the bubble mew doing things it's doing good things uh interesting i mean you know it, it movement upward movement is upward movement so happy to see it then you know this almost might be my favorite card from this set I might, I don't know if I like it more than the Charizard, but I do like Gardevoir a lot. And not at the three month high, but it's had a little bit of movement. It swung down all the way to 46, back up to 50, and that's kind of where we're at. We're at the low 50s. But a uh, great looking card. Same thing. You pull out, look at the chart. I mean, see, they're all doing the same thing. 68. You know, you could have hit the bottom at around, that was the bottom recently at that $46 mark. So, um,. I, I see this card having some some room to go in the future. Uh, you know, we'll see. I think if you're picking this card up anywhere in this range, I don't think you're doing bad. I still don't have this card either. Um, you know, it's funny. I did actually. So I, I had this card. I bought this card on eBay in a PSA 10. Uh, got a pretty good deal on it. It wasn't like a smoking deal, but it was just like a little bit under market at the time. And then the seller just like canceled on me obviously you know refunded and everything which is not a big deal but then the price kind of spiked up like i think it, yeah it was down here when i got my psa 10 and then it went up and so i just i didn't get another one and i need to but um i did have this card in the psa 10 coming to me but anyways uh the pikachu chart um once again it's nice to see i i still say it's nice to see a card like this it's not a full art an sar sir excuse me or, or an ir or anything that's pulling 35 bucks 38 bucks this looks this looks like this is going to go up a little bit in price based on what the average uh price is here but if we pull up the, the chart here it looks like that 46 over here is the all-time high so we haven't really it's not too terrible i mean it's definitely on the decline from that all-time high so uh i don't you know it's a shiny pikachu card so i don't think you can really go wrong with it love the card love the artwork i li like everything about it uh next up so what we're going to be talking about next is a set that we've talked about before right uh i've, I've touched on this several times it's not new but i just wanted to bring it up because we're going to be talking about shrouded fable just a little bit the new set that's coming out but i wanted to talk about the last the greatest so it was the last Sword and Shield set. I know it's been talked about a lot, but it's a specialty set. And it could be argued, it very well could be argued that this is one of the greatest any set of all time. But especially specialty set of all time, I don't know. It it, it really could be. I, I can see the argument for it. But what we're seeing here, because I got that massive reprint, right? And if we pull up the chart here, I mean, like, we were already at 65 a box and then the reprint came and we tanked it down these ETBs all the way down to 38, but you see this th three month, uh, 52 and we're still kind of at this, that $50 range for these boxes. So things are looking real good. If you have uh, crown Zenith ETBs, uh, I just ripped some on the channel and, uh, I did pull a few cards that I needed and super fun, uh, set. I, I absolutely love opening this set. So, um, I don't think you can go wrong for personal collection, for sealed, for opening. These boxes are only going to continue to rise. So I don't um, foresee, I think technically this would be still in rotation, right? I think so. This could still get reprinted, but I don't see them going back to Sword and Shield. I really don't at this point. I don't know why it would get reprinted again, but it is possible, right? 
um if you look at the so this is this is where i don't i really don't like tcg player for doing this and it's one of my biggest gripes but this is like the normal set so the galarian gallery which is the part that everybody wants and like also the trainer galleries from the other sets they're not included in here but we'll take a gander here real quick um just there's kind of honestly out of this there's only one card that stands out to me and it's this pikachu everything else like you know you got a four dollars art here and another eh, you know nothing really right it's pretty lackluster um we'll look at this pikachu real quick though we'll pull up the chart on it and you just take a gander because this card is stunning this this card is amazing with everything that's going on all the pokemon in the background it's just chef's kiss right um amazing card and it's very affordable for such a nice card uh on the three month high we just hit 12 bucks and we're back down to around 10 we pull up a little bit bigger chart we'll go one year on it not at the all-time high by any means 14 bucks but still um a, quite a bit of run up from seven bucks so uh we're on a downturn don't know how far down this is going to go but you know from the this is showing up that this is the secret rare from the the main set that anyways yeah only card worth it from there now this this is the galarian gallery if you guys aren't familiar these are the cards that you're going to want to get from Crown Zenith. This is why this set is so good. You got the, obviously, you got the four golds um, of the legendaries with the Giratina. Um, we'll, we'll jump into some of these. But you got you got Evolutions here. You got the three legendary dogs. You got Deoxys. You got a nice dark, right? I mean, it's all of these are really great. You got the legendary birds, right? These are still very affordable. So just a really powerful specialty set is kind of the point i was i was trying to touch on this is probably the most powerful specialty set and then you had paldean fates which was surprisingly doing really well it's not crown zenith level right but you know i just wanted to to talk about these specialty sets um and i do want to talk about the giratina i do not have this giratina yet i have the uh, lost origin giratina in a 10 i don't have this yet i need them i need them to be a set right it's on my list i'm gonna make it happen and i'm gonna so for me if you're looking to pick up this card i'm waiting i'm gonna let this i'm gonna see if this can drop more that's just me personally i'm gonna wait because of where we're at it could it could drop back down i would love to see sub 100 on this card and then i'm nom, 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 picking this up right uh we pull up i mean obviously so one year that was the one year high that we just hit so uh, there is room. I don't. I don't think usually when you see this one year high and this big regression, it's not like we're gonna come all the way down to here. I I don't see that. You know, it might come back down a little bit more and then it's gonna kind of rise and do its thing, right? The boxes are gonna continue to go up and it's gonna it's gonna go up back up again. But this next bottom is kind of where I'm looking at getting an, an entry point personally. Same thing here for the the Arceus. Um, you know, it had uh, touched 100 almost, right? And now we're down. You pull up the one year, same thing, right? This was the one year high. So very similar, um, great looking cards. You know, if we want to, I think if we pull up a few of these other charts real quick, I wasn't going to touch on these, but we'll just we'll just touch on them real quick. I mean, you see the Leafeon, it's doing the same thing, okay? Beautiful looking card, by the way. The Glaceon just pulled this, um, but see... I think we just we touched on this and you know the other day but 43 and now it's it's on the rise again so this is what i was talking about this is an example of that giratina of kind of a lot of the times what happens you know you were down here you climb up you drop down you hit a new bottom but this bottom is a lot higher than this bottom and then you start to see another climb so this is very common and so it, it can vary and that's why so much of it is speculative but that is this is just something for you guys to look out for uh, i don't want you guys to be caught off guard but so i like showing you like this is an, a great example i'm glad i pulled this up right but that segues into the end of the video okay which is what i just wanted to talk about i wanted to talk about shrouded fable because we're getting this i believe the release date is august 2nd but we should start seeing pre-release stuff i think pre-release stuff uh end of this month I, i'm not sure how it works out but we have uh, i mean we'll take a look at we'll pull up a, a few of these and i'll tell you what i'm eyeing personally um 
the you got the regular elite trainer boxes here you can see people were paying 52 out the gate now we're down to sub 40 on the elite trainer boxes um not the biggest fan of the color palette personally but i'll tell you what i am excited about and it's these two boxes right here now i don't have these pre-ordered because you can see what happened they came out at 64 dollars, and now they're i'm just gonna wait i'm gonna try and pick these up in the wild this is gonna be my first like at a walmart or a target or something the king it, the i've talked about it before go back if you want to see my other videos the king drip the promo card is amazing so i'm gonna be picking up um uh, at least one of these to open and hopefully multiples at least one minimum but hopefully multiple more to keep sealed same thing with the Greninja, and you can actually see it on this one i don't know why they're doing that with the photos but same thing people were pre-ordering at 65 we're down to the 30s for this box so you should be able to pick this up for you know hopefully a lot cheaper once this actually comes out but the greninja promo card especially on the coattails of what the twilight greninja is doing i i obviously this art well i shouldn't say obviously I think this artwork is better personally, but it's a promo, so it's going to be worth a lot less. And yeah, so this is what these are what I'm looking at. You know, I'll probably open an ETB, um, maybe a booster bundle. You see them here, right? So these are the products that we're going to have for this set uh, immediately. We got mini tins. You can get a mini tin display. We got the three the three pack blisters. You know, just your standard um, stuff. There's also uh, might pick up this promo too, the the King Gambit. Um, box there might as well get all three of them right and then what else do we got oh yeah so this is these are box set six of and you can get a case you can get a case of etbs anyways you guys have had enough that is specialty sets and i'm sorry that this video went a little long i like to talk about pokemon cards i'm sorry <laughs> i'm not really sorry but leave a comment below let me know what you guys think of uh, what's your favorite specialty set. Do you guys agree? Is Crown Zenith the best? Is 151 the best? Uh, is I think Shrouded Fable. And what are your thoughts on Shrouded Fable? I think it's going to be better than what people think, right? That's just my opinion. It's not going to be amazing, but I think it's going to be. I think it's going to be okay. I think it's going to be good. And yeah, I'm excited to get my hands on those promo cards. Really, I mean that's the that's the the gist of it for me. But that is going to do it for this one, guys. Um, yeah, I'll catch you guys in the next one. And remember, it was never a phase.